Welcome to Casual Clicks and Clicks Talk. This is going to be the episode where I update um, and inform you not only about the teams that are, you're going to see coming up in the Gauntlet series, but I'm also going to explain how the Gauntlet uh, is actually kind of like the core mechanic of my entire channel. I had kind of briefly mentioned it in uh, one of my previous unboxings, how really everything that I do kind of revolves, uh, it doesn't kind of revolve, it does revolve around the gauntlet. And this is what I mean. So in case you don't know what my gauntlet series is, uh, it's a team building system that I've created uh, over the past 15 years that I've been playing and to really help me kind of focus, narrow down the choices that I have when I am team building. This particular series, I started focusing on the Fantastic Four. I'll make sure to put the link available for the Gauntlet series. That way, in case you're interested in watching it, you can watch it. So starting with the Fantastic Four, uh, with this Gauntlet, you know, it, uh, I have these uh, particular rules, of course, that I have to follow in order for me to try to make a really good Fantastic Four team or any keyword really. But right now, like I said, I am focusing on Fantastic Four. And everything that I do for the Gauntlet uh, ties in to everything else that I do. So for example, the strategy videos that I have, some of the solo videos that you see, um, they tie into the gauntlet because as I am trying to determine the best combinations possible for a particular keyword, uh, sometimes I pick up on strategies that like, you know, that may not be too obvious. They may be kind of hidden in the set as opposed to the ones that WizKids makes pretty obvious when they make uh, prefabricated teams and of course they work well together uh, they may not be the most competitive but in the hands of a skilled player they can be somewhat effective and talking to a friend on Twitter Andy Eschenbach thank you for the idea um, I wanted to kind of illustrate it in a better manner on how exactly the gauntlet spawns uh, all the ideas that I get for my channel and uh, regarding strategy, regarding team building, anything like that with Heroclix. And I thought, well, you know, what better way for me to show that uh, than to make the last round of the gauntlet kind of special. Normally, in, in the last round of the gauntlet, if you've been keeping up with it, if not, I'll make sure to put the rules on the, uh, the team building process that I created. Uh, so you can see that in the third round, I actually only usually get to four teams. I try to narrow it down to four teams and try to do like a single elimination tournament, uh, sometimes double elimination, uh, depending on uh, how comfortable I am feeling with the, with the teams that I've made. And, and But I limit it to just those four. However, this time around, uh, like I mentioned, I did get a, uh, a great idea to kind of not only make sure that I haven't lost my edge regarding team building, um, but also to kind of show you some of the prefabricated teams that WizKids makes. Um, and I figured this would be a really good test for me to see if my teams can't even build, if my teams can't even beat the prefabricated teams that WizKids makes uh, during, you know, the standard set releases or fast forces, starter sets, things like that, uh, then maybe I need to scrap that team and start over and uh, do something about that. So without further ado, uh, here are the four teams that I chose specifically that are going to match up against the four teams that I made. And uh, here we go. So these are the four teams that I think have some of the best potential to try to take down my teams. Of course, I was somewhat limited because I do use several pieces in the actual teams that I've been working on and creating. Uh, so I wasn't able to fit some of the better theme teams that WizKids did make within the Fantastic Four keyword. But uh, these, are, I think, are still some of the best, some of the better uh, pre-built teams that WizKids made, uh, especially the Fantastic Four Cosmic Clash starter set there. Uh, I am not going to lie to you. I'm actually a little worried about that team, uh, kind of messing with my teams. But, you know, and I had mentioned that I had gotten an idea uh, because I wanted to illustrate how the gauntlet also spawns other stuff besides team building. Uh, besides strategy, uh, besides, you know, the strategy that I come up with. But I figured that this would be a pretty good opportunity for me to show you how to start with basic pre-built teams that WizKids already has built in the sets for you and kind of improve and expand on those ideas that WizKids has because sometimes they do make some pretty good teams. And like I said, in the hands of a skilled player, they can be kind of uh, tough to deal with. 
And uh, if we can actually even improve those teams and make them better, and in the same uh, in the same vein, we're we're killing several birds with one stone here because one, I am testing my teams from the gauntlet. Uh, two, I am showing you uh, some of the strategies that you know that WizKids puts into these pre-built teams and how they work. Uh, three, we are going to expand and build upon uh, and improve upon these teams that WizKids makes and possibly even mine. Uh, so, you know, when we go through the Gauntlet series for the final round, uh, it is going to be a double elimination uh, kind of a tournament that once a team loses twice, it, that team will get eliminated. Uh, it will come out because there's eight teams. It may happen that throughout the course of this that I may have an odd number of teams. And what will happen is if one of my teams, one of the teams I built in the gauntlet gets eliminated, they're going to get one final opportunity to uh, to come back into the gauntlet. And I'll go over those details, those more specific details, how exactly that's going to work once the gauntlet starts. But for now, these are the four teams that I chose that I think may, may be somewhat challenging or some of the better ones that I could find uh, thematically within the set. And we'll see how it goes. So don't forget to tune in to a special live stream where I'm going to reveal the four teams that I've been working on and I've been building over the course of, uh, it's been a month, maybe two months now, I forgot, I lost track of time from the gauntlets from when it started. So don't forget to tune in to that live stream at March 6, 1 p.m. Saturday, uh, that way. You don't miss an opportunity to try to win some prizes. And I also can't wait to field these teams and make some improvements upon them and actually film that and record that and put that up for you so you can see just how the evolution goes from uh, play testing in the gauntlet to getting ideas on how we can improve those teams. And I'll make sure to do that in a future Clicks Tactics episode featuring uh, these teams here that you're going to see in action in the gauntlet. Uh, it's not the last time that you're going to see these teams. And uh, so don't miss out on any of the fun. So don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned uh, and tune in for the special live stream where I reveal the actual four teams that I've been working on, on that during that live stream. And as always, thank you so much for watching.